Rocket League and Sideswipe have a lot in common. They've both got rocket-powered cars trying to put a ball into a goal. But other than that, they're totally different. Like, check this out. This is Sideswipe's version of demos. <laughs> Jesus. This is Rocket League vs Sideswipe, the series where I take a look at the differences and similarities between both games, introducing Sideswipe players to Rocket League and Rocket League players to Sideswipe. This first episode will focus on the one and only thing that players of both games really care about, mechanics. But first, a word from our sponsor, the Rocket League marketplace, RL Exchange. RL Exchange is a website on which you can buy and sell Rocket League items to create the car of your dreams. Check out that view. No matter what your platform or your preferred payment method, don't worry, they've got you. So go create the Rocket League car of your dreams. Oh, and while you're there, don't forget to use the code MOGSRL when checking out. This is RL Exchange. The core mechanics in both Rocket League and Sideswipe are actually pretty much identical. Both games have jumping, double jumping, flipping, boosting, air rolling, and uh, turtling. And both have what most players would consider a fairly advanced mechanic, the flip reset. However, that's pretty much where the similarities end and the differences begin. One of the biggest and most obvious differences between the mechanics in these two games is the presence of the three unique shooting mechanics in Sideswipe, those being the Red Shot, Purple Shot, and Gold Shot. Sideswipe players use all three of these basic shot types as well as a ton of different advanced variations of them in pretty much every single shot they take. Whereas in Rocket League, unless you're doing something like a flick, the vast majority of the time when taking a shot on goal, you're just going to be flipping. Another huge aspect that separates the mechanics in these two games is the flip timer. In Rocket League, after you jump, you have only 1.5 seconds to use your flip. If you go over the time, you can't use your flip at all until you either touch the ground again or get a flip reset. Interestingly, this is a limitation that opened the door to the creation of mechanics like the ceiling shot, where instead of jumping off the ceiling, you fall off it, essentially giving you an infinite flip timer, and allowing you to flip whenever you want. Whereas in Sideswipe, there is no flip timer at all. Meaning, every single shot is a potential ceiling shot. And the last difference in mechanics I think needs to be mentioned is flip cancels. In Rocket League, you are able to cancel your flip using your joystick. Flip cancelling allows you to do things like flip cancel flips, half flips, and of course, speed flips. However, in Sideswipe, there is no way to cancel your flip using your joystick. It just can't be done. And so, despite players trying really hard to come up with a speed flip in Sideswipe, unfortunately, I don't think it exists. However, none of these differences have stopped Sideswipe players from trying to import every single Rocket League mechanic they can get their hands on into their game. Everything from stalls, to musties, to macduffs, to the simple wave dash, we've got them all. Although, for some reason, I've never seen a Rocket League player try to do a gold shot. Weird. There are a ton of things that make Sideswipe such a great game. From how easy it is to pick up and play, to the fast paced gameplay. I said the fast paced gameplay. Jelly, help me out, bro. I think it's pretty safe to say that the number one feature that makes Sideswipe so awesome is the visual and sound effects.
And this is in my opinion the biggest area that gives Sidetype the edge over Rocket League. In Rocket League, the visual and audible feedback given to players when executing mechanics is extremely minimal. For comparison, here's what a standard front flip power shot looks and sounds like in Rocket League. This shot, as you know, is one of the most powerful shots in the game, generating a ton of speed and distance on the hit. However, really the only visual and sound effects we get are this little flash, and a dull thud sound of the car body making contact with the ball. Not very exciting, really. But then, here's the same type of shot in Sideswipe. As you can see, there's a ton going on here. You get this multicolored blue, pink, red visual effect around the ball, which follows the ball as it flies towards the goal. And then you also get this awesome explosion sound effect to go with it. And I absolutely love this part of Sideswipe. Players get a ton of super satisfying feedback every single time they're able to pull off even the simplest mechanics. And then if they're able to totally pop off, they get this. Whereas here's what it looks and sounds like when a player pops off in Rocket League. Okay, so now that we know why Sideswipe is awesome, now it's Rocket League's time. If there's one thing that's pretty much synonymous with Rocket League, it's gotta be, well, other than toxicity, quick chat trolling, and smurfs, I'd have to say difficult. Rocket League is by far the most difficult game I have ever played, hands down. I mean, there's a good reason the term skill ceiling is something that Rocket League YouTubers talk about constantly, because the thing is damn near infinite. For instance, even one of the most arguably fundamental mechanics like the simple half flip, which just allows you to turn around quickly, something that can be done with a simple flick of the joystick and sideswipe, is a move that a player like me with over 4,000 hours in game still messes up to this day. Contrast that to sideswipe where even the most advanced mechanics like the wide gold shot can be done with just an hour or two of training. Whereas a similar mechanic in Rocket League, like perhaps a flip reset shot, would take such a ridiculous number of hours to get down that, uh, yeah, I give up. However, all of this difficulty is actually a really good thing. It means that the replayability of the game is, just like the skill ceiling, pretty much infinite. At no point will you ever really stop improving your mechanical ability and refining your timing, positioning and technique to get that perfect triple reset shot. Whereas in Sideswipe, I mean, I could do this all day. And that's it. That's the end of this episode of Rocket League vs Sideswipe. I really hope you guys enjoyed that first episode about mechanics, and I'd love to hear from you in the comments about which topic I should cover in next episode. So let me know all your thoughts down in the comments. And as usual, come join the Mogs Discord server if you want to hang out with me and other Mogs viewers, as well as get access to exclusive Sideswipe tournaments and participation in my videos like the Sideswipe players versus the rank they think they deserve series. The details are on screen and in the video description. And like the video if you liked it, dislike it if not, subscribe for more videos like this as well as a whole bunch of other gaming content. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.